On the continuing resolutions, it comes down to an option of this. Do you shut down the federal government because of a dispute, which I think is something. Do you know that when we shut down the government in 1994, they balanced the budget? So uh, I'm addressing it. I've been very aggressive against the EPA. There was an amendment that came through, and it was an amendment to defund the EPA by $1.93 billion. And I was concerned when Larry did not vote to, or did not support that amendment. So, you know, I think you can determine for yourself, every individual can, you can give, have a right to your opinion about what's constitutional or what isn't. Uh, I don't vote for anything that doesn't pass constitutional muster, period. Uh, but I'm just curious, uh, if everything is has constitutional approval before you vote on it, then the Obamacare provision that expanded to veterinarians, would that have been constitutional? President of the United States is the commander in chief of the military, and they can make those decisions without Congress. I don't like it, you don't like it, it's wrong, but the fact of the matter is, I voted against that. This is why it takes Congress people who are serious when they say, We will adhere to the Constitution and we will uphold it. They promise this leadership. This is why Barack Obama has to be a one-term president, because they have a lot of power. And the legislators cannot do a lot about it. Now, and I appreciate Larry's position, but I'm a fighter.